Africa has long been a hub of innovation with locally made vehicles, helicopters, and power stations showcasing the continent's ingenuity. But now something truly groundbreaking is emerging, an invention so extraordinary that it challenges everything we know about energy and technology. Imagine a world where cars run indefinitely without fuel or charging, where energy is drawn from the very air around us. In the heart of Africa, one man claims to have turned this vision into reality. Meet Maxwell Chikumbuzo, the Zimbabwean inventor whose self-powering electric car has sent shockwaves through the global tech industry. Zimbabweans are capable of spearheading game-changing, first-of-a-kind innovations that challenge the world's traditional ways of doing things. President Wanagagwa said no one can take away that capability. He said this earlier today when Zimbabwean innovator and inventor Maxo Chikumbuzo paid a courtesy call showcasing his latest invention of the world's first if soft powering vehicles and motorbikes that run just on radio waves. No fuel, nothing. Nothing, no fuel. First in the world. The first in the world. This is power from the sky. Yeah, from the radio frequency. This is in Zimbabwe. Yes, we have done it. With groundbreaking innovation comes formidable opposition. Chikumbuzo's journey has been riddled with danger. He and his friend were allegedly poisoned, a tragedy that left him as the sole survivor. We were poisoned at that time. Dr. Teddy didn't make it. He died in January 2017. I survived by the grace of God. Chikumbuzo acknowledges his invention allegedly violates fundamental laws of physics, specifically the laws of thermodynamics. The, the, the vehicle, it uses what we call the microsonic energy device. Microsonic energy device, it is the, the device that I personally invented in 2009, which harnessed radio frequencies, converted it into energy. As you know, radio frequencies, they are measured in nano volts, meaning to say they are less than a volt, they are just like nothing. But we find a way of harnessing it through the, the, the creation of uh, the 70% of the components in the microsonic energy, which I tell me we have designed. So those are the components that, mark, that, that enable uh, the radio frequency to be transferred into pure, useful energy. And this is the first time in the world. With that technology, it violates uh, the laws of energy in, thermo in, in thermodynamics and also the first law of energy as well. This has sparked both fascination and skepticism. Powerful industries and nations stand to lose if his claims are true. As a result, silence and doubt have clouded his work. Elon Musk, who pioneered electric vehicles and proposed robo-taxis, now faces a potential game-changer that threatens to overshadow Tesla's breakthroughs. Meanwhile, China, a global leader in technology and innovation, is also watching closely. Welcome to Win Africa, as we unravel the story of Maxwell Chikumbuzo, exploring the fine line between genius and impossibility, and uncovering what his journey means for Africa and the world. Maxwell Chikumbuzo, a self-taught engineer from Harare, Zimbabwe, has been fascinated with sustainable energy solutions since childhood. His story is one of resilience, self-discovery, and relentless pursuit of innovation. Born into humble beginnings, Chikumbuzo dropped out of school at just 14 years old, yet his mind never stopped searching for answers to the world's biggest technological challenges. His list of claimed inventions is both impressive and controversial. One of his most striking creations is a cordless powered television that functions without traditional electricity. The first in the world to have such kind of a technology where a television is powered with a radio frequency. So as you can see right now, I'm powering this television. You don't need to put it on electricity or on solar panel or anything. His most astonishing claim is the invention of an electric vehicle powered entirely by radio frequencies, eliminating the need for fuel, charging stations, or external power sources. Maxwell Chikumbuzo is not focused on building cars, televisions, or other devices from scratch. Instead, his breakthrough lies in developing a self-charging system that powers these devices without the need for fuel or traditional charging. 
By integrating his innovation into existing technology, he enables electric cars, household electronics, and other appliances to operate independently of conventional energy sources, redefining the way we think about sustainable power. If proven real, this technology would not only place Africa at the forefront of global innovation, but also challenge the dominance of oil and energy conglomerates, disrupt Tesla's electric vehicle empire, and shake the foundation of modern scientific understanding. But here lies the problem. Why has Maxwell Chikumbuzo's work not been independently validated? Why do reports suggest he has received multiple death threats? And why are people demanding that he be protected? As we delve deeper into his journey, we will uncover the challenges, conspiracies, and forces at play, separating fact from fiction in the incredible story of Maxwell Chikumbuzo. The introduction of a self-sustaining energy vehicle presents a direct challenge to the global oil industry and disrupts the technological dominance of major players like China and corporations such as Tesla. As the face of Tesla, Elon Musk has championed electric vehicles, EVs, and renewable energy, positioning his company as a leader in sustainable innovation. Tesla's mission to accelerate the world's transition to clean energy has driven advancements in solar integration, autonomous driving, and energy storage solutions. Musk envisions a future where homes generate electricity through solar panels, store excess energy in battery packs, and use EVs as mobile energy hubs. However, the emergence of Chikumbuzo's groundbreaking technology threatens to upend this vision, especially if a vehicle that operates without external charging becomes viable. Such a development could shake Tesla's dominance and disrupt global energy markets. This may explain the silence from major industry players and nations with deep investments in existing energy infrastructures. Chikumbuzo's invention has not gone unnoticed. He has received multiple financial offers and invitations, including a multi-million dollar proposal from American investors eager to bring him to the United States. Yet, despite being a high school dropout, the 44-year-old inventor refused the offer, opting instead to protect his work and tread carefully amid growing risks. His caution is understandable. The concept of converting radio waves into electrical energy to power vehicles is revolutionary, so much so that it challenges conventional physics, making it difficult to patent. The implications of this technology are enough to unsettle the world's most powerful energy and automotive industries, raising questions about what forces might be working behind the scenes to suppress it. Despite the potential of Chikumbuzo's invention, it has faced significant skepticism. Multiple fact-checking organizations have challenged the validity of his claims, citing a lack of empirical evidence and documentation. Investigations suggest that his showcased vehicles were existing models, such as the Kai X3 Pro Electric car, powered by conventional lithium-ion phosphate batteries, rather than groundbreaking self-powering technology. Chikumbuzo has also expressed concerns about patenting his technology, fearing that the process could expose his innovations to theft or suppression. We have good laws. Uh, there's a time that I explain on my Facebook page so that people could understand how the laws, the patent laws work. They are patents which are not uh, patentable, but being patents because of some issues. Good example, you can invent something that will promote monopoly automatically it's not patentable you can invent something that is novel it's new but this thing can cause harm to people it's not patentable our technology was classified as a technology that violates some laws of physics because patents examiners are guided by the natural laws so they said you are violating the law of energy and thermodynamics this is not direct proportional so it's not industrial applicable <laughs> because it is reversing everything. We have to revisit science and change those laws. Yes, it is working, but because yes. doing that, we have to relook everything. Relook everything. We have to dismantle everything. Then we start afresh. This highlights the broader challenges African inventors face in protecting intellectual property on the global stage. While the veracity of Chikumbuzo's claims remains under scrutiny, his story underscores a critical narrative. 
Africa's potential as a hub for innovation and technological advancement. Historically, African inventors have been underrepresented and their contributions overlooked. Regardless of the outcome, Chikumbuzo's journey shines a light on the continent's capacity for groundbreaking ideas and the systemic barriers that hinder their global recognition. Maxwell Chikumbuzo's purported self-powering electric vehicle has ignited discussions about the future of energy, transportation, and Africa's role in global innovation. While skepticism persists, this story serves as a catalyst for re-evaluating how emerging technologies from developing regions are perceived and supported. Despite the skepticism and criticism surrounding Maxwell Chikumbuzo's groundbreaking invention, major strides are being made toward its recognition and commercialization. Renowned universities and scientific institutions have certified the technology, validating its potential to revolutionize the energy industry. Meanwhile, plans for mass production and distribution are already in motion, with efforts underway to introduce the self-charging device into various applications, including powering electric cars, televisions, and other essential devices. We are in the commercial uh, stage starting from tomorrow. We've got small machines. Most of them, they've been bought with these guys who came. We've got guys from DRC. Uh, he bought some machines as well. We didn't have much, but right now we are now in operation. And uh, whoever who wants a machine can now get it. We've got our um, distributor here in Zimbabwe who is going to be handling all the sales. As the world grapples with the urgent need for sustainable energy solutions, Chikumbuzo's innovation is steadily gaining traction, proving that true progress often faces resistance before achieving widespread acceptance. As the world grapples with energy sustainability, stories like Chikumbuzo's challenge us to broaden our perspectives and consider the untapped potential that lies within Africa. If you found this story insightful, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to We Africa for more groundbreaking stories and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. Let's keep the conversation going in the comments. What do you think about Maxwell Chikumbuzo's invention, Fact or Fiction?